quick look at how the legs extend. It's basically a lower part that slides up inside the upper part, so it's the height is adjustable anywhere from that touching there to about maybe four or five inches longer than it currently is. Um, I'm not sure if this is the best height for me, I'm just about to give it a go. Right, first attempt at throwing standing up. I'm just doing um, little trinket bowls at the moment, so something nice and easy. Maybe I want a fraction. I don't know. Not very. I mean, this is enough, small enough ball to play that it doesn't matter. It's harder to brace against something. Um, I know Stephen Hill throws oh, kind of half seated, half standing on a high stool, which was what I originally had in mind when I got these. Um, I haven't been able to find anything quite like what he uses, but it obviously exists, and if not, if it's custom made, then you know, someone will be able to custom make them. But um, for now, I'm just standing and leaning against the, the wheel itself. Fine because it's a very sturdy wheel, but doesn't quite give you. I definitely wouldn't be able to throw anything big with this, you don't get the stability you do when you're anchored. Alright, let's give it another go. Let's try something slightly different with centering. So, I've seen videos of people trying to reposition themselves as they go. So, getting much lower and more into it, which actually does feel a lot more stable. Bit of an awkward position, but it's just the centering. Yeah, because you can, if you've got your feet wider apart and half crouched, it's easier to brace against the wheel. So that seemed to work quite well. Again, the real test will be with a ball of clay that you actually need to be centred stable for. Centred this much clay without really getting in a good position. <laughs> 